Smith along with Al Bernstein. We move to round nine after round eight. There's an exchange of punches, but nothing devastating by either side. And round nine, the champion Hagler against the challenger Duran. Duran wading in with a left right. But again, Hagler, who has countered very well throughout the night, continues to do so. And there, as a righty, you see the left the hand by Hagler can get in, the left hook. And there you see the combination punch. And from that posture as a righty, he is he's able to land those punches often. That straight right hand just over the left lead by Duran has been a good weapon tonight by Hagler. Hagler, as you saw there, just a master at slipping punches, even though Duran has caught him with some good punches of his own, not that many so far. You know, Hagler, while he is landing fairly well, does not seem to be punching with that much authority. It's almost as if he's just uh, pity patting some of his punches. And obviously some have power on him, but he's not really unloading the way he would like. Particularly, Al, after we looked at round six and seven there and kind of looking on, and he really looked devastating. And six and seven had Duran looking very tired, back on his heels. Now there's the work on the inside. He's winning this fight on the inside, Hagler is. And uh, that surprise uh, is surprising, I think, to many people. And the only one doing any combination punching is Hagler. Duran has, has hardly put two punches together in this fight. He's landed some good right hands, but very little combination. Hagler, other than those rounds we mentioned, a five, six, and seven in particular, has been rather content even though he comes in there to way back, counter, let Duran carry the offense and then the counter off of it, which he's done very well. Well, except Duran isn't throwing that many punches. I mean, Roberto Duran in this fight is just not throwing many punches. So Duran may come forward, but he doesn't do much. How confusing left hand, right hand, Hagler back to the southpaw again. Goody and Pat Petronelli over in the corner of the champion. That great stable out of Brockton, Mass. Giving Hagler the words to see what he can do as the two fighters just glare at each other here in round nine. Well, we've had a lot of this in this fight. And uh, it has been a chess match, not a brawl, that's for sure. And uh, both these fighters showing respect to the other, but maybe showing a little too much respect. Because, especially in Hagler's case, I think he, he may need to go out there and exert the... Uh, his power and the fact that he is the true middleweight but certainly he's had a good round nine Hagler almost just pawing with the right hand Duran still waiting to throw that big right hand that could end this fight but so far he's done little damage on the champion here in Las Vegas <laughs> 11 as round 10 was condensed only in about the last 10 seconds of the round both fighters are changing well and this in round 11 you can hear the crowd as they're ready for more of the fireworks with Hagler and Duran. Duran starting to stalk. Hagler bobbing, weaving, jumping away. Trying to pick his punches here again, fighting out of the southpaw stance. As we head toward the home stretch of this fight, there have been a lot of close rounds, presumably, and... Uh, not a lot of action in a lot of rounds, so it makes it difficult in some instances to score, though certainly at this point I would see Marvin Hagler as uh, having done a lot more work than Duran. This is also the time of the fight, as you can hear some boos coming out for the lack of action right now. Sometimes a guy will feel, well, I'm ahead on the card, I'll just let the other guy come to me and try to see what I can do. Play a little defensively rather than be the aggressive fighter that he's been throughout the fight. Well, that would appear to be what Hagler's doing. He is boxing a little bit, and I'm you can look at this strategy and look at it a couple different ways. It might be a good idea because Duran might come in and he might catch him with a good counter shot. But then again, Hagler is fighting the legend of Roberto Duran. And uh, you can easily give a round away doing this. Al, well, I got the impression, even though so much had been said about Duran, the great one from Panama, so much had been said that he may be the one that's finally the fly in the ointment for Hagler. Hagler, I don't think, listened to much of that, getting ready for this fight. I think he knows exactly what he had to do coming in. I think he did, but I do think that looking at him here, he's affected to some extent because I, he is not attacking Duran with the ferocity that you might expect. And part of it may be that uh, Duran has conned him into thinking that he, uh, Hagler can't knock him out. 
we, we don't know, but uh, that, that is something that may be going on in Hagler's mind. Hagler's boxing, but he's not boxing that effectively. He's moving a lot, but not punching much. Neither is Duran, for that matter. This is round 11. By no stretch of the imagination was five, six, and seven. The best rounds of this fight both fought well, Hagler in particular. Now the fans are wanting a little bit more activity than they're seeing from these two middleweights in round 11. It's strange that Hagler is, is boxing so much on the outside because he has been so effective on the inside. Fighting off Duran's chest, he has really been dominant. And we saw that a moment ago when they were on the inside. This round is tough to score principally because so few punches have been thrown. One thing to keep in mind, in the last few fights, Hagler has not gone very long. He's had knockouts in the first, the fifth, the sixth, and the fourth in his last four fights in particular. And he's tried to stretch it out to go 15 here tonight against Duran. The bell sounds to bring both fighters to the center of the ring for round 12. Sam Smith along with Al Bernstein. As Marvin Hagler, the middleweight champion of the world, against his challenger, Roberto Duran. Outdoor arena at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. Activity in the 11th round. Not a lot of action. Probably more here in the first 30 seconds of round 12 than we saw the entire round 11. I continue to be surprised at Hagler not switching more to the right-handed stance. I just think he's been so effective from that posture. Why is he more effective from the right against Duran than he is with the left out? Well, because I think because Duran is expecting to face him as a softball. When he, when he fights, his, fights as a righty, Hagler is getting his jab in, and his reach advantage is more important to him then. His reach advantage means something as a right-hander. As a softball, it, does, it seems to be nullified by Duran. Hagler again with a combination, mostly off the shoulders of Duran. To me, that's the key difference in the fight. The number of punches Hagler has thrown, they've not all landed, that's for sure, some blocked, some slipped, but he has thrown many more punches than Duran at this point. That's got to be a scoring type psychologic uh, effect for those at ringside and the fact that a guy throwing so many punches, you automatically sometimes say, well, gee, he threw so many more punches. You well, have you, to look at how effective they were, certainly. If you throw more, more bomb the land, <laughs> uh, and he has done that. And some have been blocked, and certainly Duran has slipped uh, a number of them, but, uh, Duran's been very economical. There they bang heads together. Good uppercut by Duran. Duran still trying to load up with that right hand as he throws it wildly. And Hagler just slips that left over the top and has caught Duran almost flush in the face every time. Duran with his hands by his side, whether from fatigue or macho, he's not getting hit much by Hagler at this point. Other than the one round now, we have not seen Duran kind of look at Hagler and shake off a lot of things. He's pretty much been very steadfast and is coming straight on at him. Well, he's got kind of a stoic look on his face. Not too much of the bravado we're used to seeing from Roberto Duran. Marvin Hagler working on 32 consecutive wins. Undisputed middleweight champion of the world. And this is what people came to see. Both these fighters toe-to-toe -to -toe now. Hagler with a good uppercut and a good straight left hand by Hagler. Hagler out of the southpaw again. Doesn't really set it up that much with the right when he feels that left. Here it comes. Even though he's jabbing well with the right now. Good exchange. Maybe the best of the fight in this 12th round. I think you can hear the fans in the background, too, and the fact that after rounds 5, 6, and 7, they've been kind of setting on their hands. Now here in round 12, the two fighters have picked up the intensity again. Duran waiting in. Hagler countering. Good left hand. And there's the bell to end round 12.